Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video on The Flash Season 7. Today we're going to be talking about the finale. There have been some set photos that literally just got released, and they reveal something majorly spoilery and very shocking, and this is going to be awesome, and I can't wait to talk about it. So if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment, and subscribe if you're new, so you don't miss any DCTV videos later this year. So all the photos and the information that we're going to be talking about in this video comes from Canada Graphs. You can go check out his blog, that's in the link in the description below. Also, his Twitter if you want to stay up to date. I highly recommend you do both of those. But for now, let's go ahead and get into this. So, they just recently wrapped the penultimate episode, The Flash's 150th episode, where we got a bunch of really cool set photos because we got our first look at Bart Allen, we got the first returning look at Nora West Allen. So we knew there were some surprises coming, and it's been confirmed by now that all of those characters, Jay, Bart, and Nora, are all going to show up in the finale, and we know it's going to be a big episode, obviously, going on from the 150th episode, which does seem to be like part of the proper story of how the season's ending. It's not like a time capsule kind of episode like Arrow's 150th episode was. Maybe it would have been if it was at like a different point in the season, but being the penultimate episode, the episode before the finale, they had to link it in. So, I mean, it makes complete sense that they would have those characters continue for those two episodes. And I don't know if it's a two-part or not, but it does seem like it's going to be a two-part. But there is an even bigger surprise, which we're going to go over right now. Okay, so we're going to read off the blog, we're going to put the photos on screen, and we'll go over the photos just after we read through the whole blog. However, it goes like this. The Flash was on location for the season seven finale. The Flash cast and crew were filming on an overnight shoot. Grant Gustin was on set as The Flash. There was also a Godspeed on set, so just one Godspeed. And I actually heard the guy speaking this night Plus, I also saw him, I believe, for episode 17. So, is this the Godspeed? But one person I had not planned on seeing was the recently announced to be leaving, Tom Kavanagh. If that's not a crazy enough spoiler for you, the scenes the trio did were all part of a fight scene. It starts with the Flash and Godspeed in a battle that eventually sees Godspeed with the upper hand and seemingly ready to kill Barry when someone comes in to stop him. Is it Frost? Is it Vibe? One of his kids? No. It's the Reverse Flash. So that's correct, Tom is back as Reverse Flash, and he helped Barry out in this fight against Godspeed. So, wow, that is the shocking news, and I was not expecting to see this. I just went over, checked Twitter, and I saw the photo, and I couldn't believe it. So, yeah, Godspeed is facing off against not just Barry as the Flash, but also Reverse Flash. Anyway, let's continue with the blog and we'll break this down further in a minute. So, after Reverse Flash sends Godspeed flying across the courtyard, Barry slowly gets partially up, before Reverse Flash puts out a hand to help him up, and Barry accepts. The pair get up, and then seemingly head into the next part of the fight. Much later, after lunch, they did a scene I saw them rehearse early in the night, with the trio fighting with glowing green sticks. In the fight, Godspeed fights off the pair. The only part of any dialogue I ever really heard crystal clear was, you can't kill a god coming from Godspeed. So the actual actor behind Godspeed was properly talking this time, and this hasn't happened as of yet. So what does this all mean? Is Reverse Flash getting a redemption arc? Is this a temporary alliance to take on a more problematic foe for both of them? We will have to wait and see. So all of this is crazy. Now let's go and bring up some of these photos. Obviously you've seen some already, However, let's properly talk about it and talk about what Canada Graph says in the blog. So let's first talk about Godspeed. So obviously Godspeed's here. There is only one Godspeed that is very important because I think this leads into the theory that the person behind all of the clones is an actual Godspeed and he isn't someone else. And again, I don't know if there is going to be an unmasking scene here. 
However, the guy on set did talk, the actor, but you have to remember this scene could just be like the stunt double, or like the stand-in, and yes, the person is speaking, but there might be like a dub after, and there might be a scene after, sometime later where you have that big reveal when it is someone else. However, it is confirmed that this pretty much is the real Godspeed and the person in charge of sending all of these clones and apparently this guy was on set for episode 17, so the penultimate episode, so this could in fact be the real Godspeed and he might be fighting Team Flash and Reverse Flash as well. So yeah, I mean we knew Tom Cavanaugh was coming back to Vancouver to shoot the Superman Lois finale. It was confirmed that he was directing the episode and so I kind of speculated in my own head that Tom would probably return as one of his characters, but I did not expect the Reverse Flash and I didn't expect to see it right now. I was completely shocked. And as you can see on the screen right here, here is our first photo. You see Reverse Flash teaming up with Barry. So you can see their backs, Reverse Flash on the left, Barry's on the right. And in the middle, you have Godspeed. And this is just so cool. This is an awesome photo. And it seems like, according to the description, that Reverse Flash actually comes in to save Barry as Godspeed is about to kill the Flash. So it's definitely going to be tough for Barry to defeat Godspeed by himself. I think he's definitely going to need that help and it's pretty obvious by this that he's going to get that help. And by the way that the description actually reads, it seems like maybe Godspeed was like really really close to killing him so thank god for Reverse Flash. And yeah so Tom Cavanaugh is back and this will probably be his last appearance. I mean we've all been thinking oh like it would be a shame if Tom doesn't show up like one more time this season before he officially leaves the show because it was recently announced that he would be leaving along with Carlos Valdez who plays Cisco. So this is a great way for him to go out. And what's more is this a redemption arc? I'm not 100% certain and I'm not sure enough to say that this is a redemption arc but I definitely think he is helping Barry out for a specific reason. I don't know if it's that Godspeed wants to steal his speed as well because we know Godspeed says he is like the god of speed and he wants infinite velocity. That was his big line the last time we saw him and that means he's pretty much going to go after every speedster and you would presume he would go after a reverse slash at some point so maybe it's for selfish reason that he helps Barry out however it is obviously very nice to see that he is coming to his rescue and he puts out a hand and helps him up but let's continue with these photos so you got this photo here Tom has got his cowl off and Grant is just standing there in his flash suit this is between takes and I'm just, you know, gonna scroll through like a bunch of them. Obviously, there's more on the blog, so go check it out in the link in the description below if you want to see more. However, there is a scene described in this fight that they have when Reverse Flash has shown up and is fighting with Barry. And they are literally fighting with green lightsabers. Now, I was like, what is this? But then, when I thought about it a little bit, you know, with them actually training, you can see this photo here just before they were rehearsing earlier. And... I'm pretty sure this is some sort of lightning bolt or something that they're gonna CGI in after and the big signifier here is that they are green because normally green is the use of green screen or something that's going to be replaced digitally via CGI after so I'm guessing this is going to be them using lightning bolts or something to fight each other I can't really think apart from that because they are all speedsters but it does make more sense if it's like some sort of sword, but I doubt they're fighting with a sword because they're all speedsters. So yeah, my guess right now it's some sort of lightning bolt fight and they're shooting lightning and for some reason they needed them to have these kind of green looking lightsabers on the set. So you can see in this photo right here, they are facing off against each other like they're in a sword battle or like a battle between Darth Vader and Luke Skywalker. So yeah, awesome stuff. I can't wait to see these scenes. And talking about Barry getting nearly killed and being attacked, you see this photo right here of Godspeed towering over Barry as he is on the ground. And this is before Reverse Flash has shown up and he's going to get really close to killing him. But then out of nowhere, we cut to this and this is Reverse Flash fighting Godspeed and this photo is obviously them in motion. You got a little bit of motion blur, obviously that's just from the camera. However, they are fighting and he is going to be there to rescue Barry, which is 
obviously super exciting because we never really seen him being good. Like, he's always got something going off in the back of his head, like, for his own needs. And obviously, you had that thought at first that maybe he was working with Nora in Season 5 for a good reason. However, it turns out to be otherwise. So, I'm wondering, does he have a devious plan or is he actually helping Barry out here just for the sake of it? So, we have another photo of them using the lightsabers. And this is just them in action. Seems like Godspeed is doing like some sort of spin. So maybe this could signify this is one of the lightning bolts that they would shoot. And we got a behind the scenes photo here. You've got some of the stunt doubles along with Grant and Tom in the background. And Godspeed right there. I'm pretty sure the guy playing Godspeed is a stunt man. So... I don't think he needs a stunt double. But that's about it for this video, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. What do you think about all of this? I can't wait to see your thoughts and reactions in the comments below because this just got released and I'm trying to put this out as early as I can. But for now, leave a like. It really helps out and gets the video out there. Also, subscribe, turn on notifications if you're new, and you can click right here to watch my latest video. But I'll catch you guys later. Goodbye. I see red.